Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what you guys are going to be seeing is we're going to be doing a college football tier ranking. I went looking online and clearly you guys have kind of enjoyed the tier ranking videos that I have done here. And I've already done an NBA one. I've done an NFL one, an NFL quarterback one. College football is kicking off here in a couple of dates at the time of recording this. So I thought let's do a power five team uh, college football ranking. You can kind of see right here with all the different teams in there. Uh, I kind of went ahead and listed it. It's already pre-listed college football contenders. So the teams that are going to be in the college football playoff, probably like 99% of the time, uh, your conference contenders. So your teams that are going to be very good shot of possibly winning their own conference, your divisional contenders, the teams that might get into the uh, their conference title, maybe not. You have your above average team. So like the teams that are going to be like your eight and fours, nine and threes, probably not going to make their title game, but they will be a pretty good team. Your average, so like your six and six, your seven and five, your bowl teams, and then your bottom of the conferences, so Vanderbilt. But before we go any further, if you guys are going to enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, starting off here, we're going to go ahead and just do this rapid fire. I'm not going to be looking at the camera that much. Kind of looking down here. Uh, we got Florida. Florida's an interesting team. Uh, Anthony Richardson just left. I don't really know who their quarterback is. I do think, though, they have a good shot of being maybe a divisional contender, but I'm going to stick them with above average. I think they'll be a above average team, 7-5, 8-4, something in that kind of boat. Uh, Missouri, they'll be an average team. They always are. At one point back in 2014, they were actually a pretty good team. Ever since then, not been that. Uh, Oregon State, they're coming to the Big Ten, I believe, so would that change anything? I don't think so. They're, again, going to be like an average team. Uh, Texas A&M. If what I'm hearing is the offense is looking very improved, they should be a divisional contender. Call me crazy. I think they could be a divisional contender. They got a good shot to go out there and compete for that division. Now, I know that Alabama's in the same division. Yes, I know that, but they still got a shot. Uh, Wake Forest. Mm, they're between right here. Above average, above average and average. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll go above average. Florida's still better than Wake Forest, though. Uh, South Carolina. I think they're a divisional contender. They finished the season strong last year. If they can keep the momentum rolling, they can make some damage happen. On second thought, scratch that. Uh, Georgia's in their con or division, same division. Yeah, they're going to be above average. They'll be a great team. Good job. Um, but, yeah, no, you're, you're not beating Georgia. I'll just go ahead and get this out of the way. Georgia, CFP contenders. They're... Is there anything to say? Uh, next up, Vanderbilt. Uh, okay, let's move on. Arizona State. Vanderbilt, I love you. You're a fun team. When you win a game, it's fun to watch, but you've kind of earned that spot. Uh, Arizona State, I think I can go above average. They'll make a bowl game. They definitely will. Uh, no. Nah. Yeah. I'm going to just stick with it. Uh, Arizona, I think they're going to be a bottom of the conference type team. They're they're better than Vanderbilt, though. And then I do need to rearrange this. I think South Carolina is definitely best of the bunch there. Uh, Arkansas, they'll be above average team. Once again, I think with them being in the same division as Alabama and even teams like LSU, it's going to be tough for them. They'll be above average team. They're probably about, they're probably sitting about right there. Uh, Auburn, they're hitting a rough spot right now. They're going to be an average team. They'll be the best of the bunch, though. Alabama, CFP contenders. If Nick Saban's alive and he's on that team, CFP contenders. Uh, Baylor, they they got they'll be divisional contenders. With the Big Twelve, you never know what's gonna happen, so I'm gonna put them as divisional contenders. Um, Boston College, they're an average team. I'll put them about right there. Cal, they just have not been good these past few years. I'm still gonna put them above at Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt might end up being the worst team out of this whole group. Just spoiler alert. Uh, Clemson. Clemson's a funny one. Because they didn't do that well last year. But I think they might have a bounce back year. They'll be a good conference contender going into this year. Uh, Colorado. Do I think Deion Sanders is going to turn this, this team around? That's the funny one. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put them in divisional contenders. Put them up there. They'll, comp they'll compete for the division. I just need to see it first before I just start staying conference contenders. 
I'll put them there for now. Next up, let's do some rapid fire ones. Uh, Duke, average, Florida State. They'll be a divisional contender. Well, I'll put them as conference contenders. I'm riding high on the the Florida State train. Next up, Georgia Tech. Um, they're just they've just never. There was a time where they were actually pretty good, and then it's like almost like they just kind of hit this downfall. Uh, Illinois. Again, they're. They could they have an above average year? I know their coach is a pretty good coach. Their defense was actually really good last year. I'll put them about there. I think that defense can carry them a little bit. Uh, Indiana, I don't know. I'm going to go average, but here, I'll, I'll put you all the way up there. Uh, Iowa State, they seem like they're always like an above average team. Iowa as well, they're like this team that's always above average, but their offense is always shitty. So like, I'm putting you down there. Uh, Kansas State, you just won your conference. I'm going to put you in conference contenders because you just literally won your conference. I can't really take you out of there. Uh, Kansas. If you write off the momentum from last year, you could probably win your division. Kentucky is a funny one as well. I'll put you in above average. I'll probably put you like right here behind Florida. Uh, Louisville. They're going to be like another, I think they'll be like an average team. I'll put them kind of in front of Boston College. LSU. I'll put them in conference contenders. Well, no. Because in my eyes, I see Alabama making a comeback and winning their division. So I'll put them in the divisional contenders. And I'll put them up here ahead of a and because they won, obviously, their division last year. Maryland, I'm going to put it as well, probably in the average category. Yeah, I'll put them in average. I, once again, i probably put them up here ahead of Gordon, Oregon State. Uh, Miami, I'm going to put Miami... They always, every single year, it's like, we think Miami's going to be back. And then they're not. I'll throw them right there. Uh, let me get some of these uh, obvious ones out of the way. Michigan, obviously. CFP contenders. Ohio State, for the fact that I haven't won. Or they haven't won. Not I. They haven't won in the past two years. I'm not going to be a biased little cuck, but I will go ahead and put them here in the conference contenders. Since they haven't beaten this team the past two years. It sucks. I'll put them there. Uh, Michigan State. I'll put you in the above average team. They're still Michigan State's still a really good team. They just had a couple problems they had to wrinkle out last year, I think. I mean, how do you go from like 10 and 1, 10 and 2 to what did they do? Like 3 9 last year? God. Uh Penn State, again. They're always gonna be like this divisional contenders. I'll put them up here ahead of AM. They're always a divisional contender. It's just can they get past like Ohio State and Michigan and Michigan State? That's their problem. Let's go ahead and take some random ones here. Uh Notre Dame. Notre Dame is like a funny one because it's like you can't really put them in the conference or division of contenders because they're not in a conference. So it's like you kind of I either have to put them in CFP contenders or above average. And with that, I'm going to put them in above average. I'll put them at the top of the chain, but I can't put them like I'm not going to put them in here. And I damn sure ain't going to put them up in the CFP contenders because the only way Notre Dame gets into the CFP is if they go undefeated. And if they lose one game, that one loss better be a damn good loss. Minnesota, they're an average team. Throw them somewhere in there. Uh, Mississippi State, I'll put y'all again. They'll probably be like an above average team. Put you about right right there. Uh, NC State, they're more of an average team. Put them like right there. Nebraska, average. Nothing to say more. Northwestern. Where do I put you down here though? I'll put you there. Northwest has just not been good. Uh, Oklahoma State, they're, they could be a divisional contender, I think. I'll put them about right there in front of Baylor. Oklahoma, last year was god-awful for them. Let's bounce back Sooners. Uh, Ole Miss, for how good they are, they shouldn't be anything less of a divisional contender, I think. Do I be nice and just be realistic and put them in above average? I could. But I'm going to put them in divisional contenders. I'll put them like right here ahead of Texas A&M because I do think Ole Miss is still better than A&M. Uh, moving on, we got Purdue. Let's go with let's go with an average team. Oregon, I think they're more of an above average team. Mm, well, no. They're a divisional contender. Oregon's a divisional contender, 100%. Uh, Pitt, we will go with above average or divisional. The question is which one. 
I'm gonna go. Pick, I'm gonna go uh, with uh, divisional contenders. We'll put you. We'll put you right there. Rutgers. God awful. Uh, Stanford. They're an average squad. I put them. Maybe. I put you right there. Uh, Wisconsin. They got a good shot to maybe do something this year. Do I think they can win their division? Maybe because that, what is that, the Big Ten West? They can bring a new winner out every single year. I'm going to put them in the above average. Uh, I'll put them somewhere right there. Uh, Syracuse, I'm going to go with average. They're an average squad. Put them like right there. Uh, TCU, they just won their conference. A lot of players left, though. That's going to hurt them. I'm going to put them in the divisional contenders. I don't know what they're going to be this year, though. That's the problem. I'm going to have to put them all the way back here because I don't know what they're going to be. A lot of players left them. Uh, Tennessee, Jake Milton's the new quarterback. I can see them reloading. They're going to obviously compete for the division. I'll put them like right there behind LSU. Uh, Texas Tech, they're going to be an average squad, I think. Put them there ahead of Syracuse. Texas, they damn sure better be competing for their conference. Uh, North Carolina, I think they could be an above average squad. Put them about there. UCLA, they're going to take a step back. They'll be an average squad. Put them about there. USC, another team, they're going to be competing for their conference. I need to reorganize this. They're going to put bottom. I'll put them there. There, there, there. That seems about right. Uh, Utah. Utah is another funny one because like they always start off bad and then they finish strong. I'll put them in the above average, I think. They'll be the above average, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's do above average. Uh, Virginia Tech. Let's get them in the average. They'll be another average squad. Probably about there. Virginia. I'll go another average. Probably not a good team. Washington State, once again. Like I said, another average. Just throw them in there. Uh, Washington. They have a better shot to go being an above average squad, I think. And then West Virginia. They could probably be a divisional contender. I think they got the right coaching. I don't know if they're the right players, though. I could be wrong, but I'm going to put them in above average. Put them, put them about there. But that's my list. But other than that, hopefully you guys did going to enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a comment. What do you think I did wrong on this list? Do you think I did something right? Do you disagree with anything here on the list? Let me know down in the comments. Obviously, no list is perfect. This is my list, my opinion what I think goes on this list. So if you disagree with anything or want to talk about it, leave a comment. If you want to enjoy today's video, drop a like. It's always appreciated if you do so. And if you're enjoying the content that I am posting here, always feel free to subscribe. It's free. It's right there. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified the second I post. But without further ado, this has been Dell and Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.